Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Winston and one of his trainers, Rich, and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your dog's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that we may need and that is a little tug and let go on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Winston is coming home with his very own training collar and you'll be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Those dogs barking in the background are our neighbors, not ours. So we apologize for the distraction. Now Winston's sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is the heel. Healing is proper walking on a leash, staying right with you during your walks, and the command is Winston heel. And at this point, Winston has a job to do, and that is to focus on his trainer, not to be distracted by the things that are going on around him, and each time that you stop your feet, he has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command, and you can hear Rich encouraging him. Now it's a little bit of a slow sit, and Rich told him no sit. But he has fun with it, but he stays right with you and always under control. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. And you should practice this indoors as well as outdoors. When Rich returns back to his dog, he will walk all the way around him as an additional distraction, returning all the way back around to where they started. So everything starts and stops at heel position. And they're going to take off healing again. And remember, your stationary exercises are great for developing focus and self-control. So you want to practice those sit stays. Stay. Rich leaves him in another sit stay. Lengthen out your distance and your time as well. This time, instead of returning back to his dog, Rich will call him in. Praises him on the way in because coming to you should always be a good thing. And he came right in front and sat. And then he goes back to heel. And Rich will demonstrate that recall exercise again for you. Nice automatic sit, leaves him in a stay, uses his name, lightens his tone of voice and calls him right in and has him sit. And then he goes back around to heel position and back sitting. Perfect. Very good job. And now we're going to demonstrate for you your down commands. <laughs> now he's getting a little pep in his step. So with your dog seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground, and give the one word command to down. And then you leave him in a stay. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home is for three to five minutes. And again, a great exercise. One of Winston's favorites, I think. <laughs> When Rich returns back to him, he walks all the way around him just as he did on the sit stay. For an additional distraction, he praises him for a good job. He's going to heal him up out of that. And we're going to demonstrate that down from a heel position one more time. Make sure he's seated first, always, before you give the down command. And all these commands are teaching him that you are the leader, not him. Rich uses his name, calls him in, has him sit, and go back to heel.
Very nicely done. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is called the down from a distance. This is a little bit harder down command to do because you're not next to the dog. And again, you're going to continue to practice and focus on getting him to do these things further away and for longer periods. This time Rich is going to take his right hand to give the command. <laughs> And in Winston time, that was actually perfectly done. That you're down from a distance. Now we've demonstrated for you his healing skills, his automatic sit, his stay, his down, his down from a distance, his come. He is completely crate trained. He's done a wonderful job here at school, much better than any of us expected. We've enjoyed having him, and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company. Please keep us posted on his progress.